What's going on guys? It's Asher here. This is the video you've all been waiting for. Probably not, but we have bought a tech disc. We went with the Innova driver, uh, 12 speed. Um, I have no affiliation with tech disc unless they want to make an affiliation. Uh, but the point of this video is Rachel's going to throw some, I'm going to throw some, we're going to figure out our baseline. We've been working out a lot together. Um, so we want to see if a tech disc is actually going to help anybody. So yeah, uh, I give away stuff every video, so you might want to sub. Before we go any further, I got to do a giveaway from last video real quick. I'm giving away a KC, a Nexus AVR. Uh, thank y'all for commenting on that last video. If you haven't seen it, I dressed up as Lord Farquaad, so go check that out. I can't believe that video didn't get more views. YouTube is very difficult. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Good luck. CJ, congrats, man. Hit me up on Instagram or something or email me or we'll figure it out. Congrats. Rachel's very first throw from the tech disc. We just went and worked out, so this will be interesting. We're loose, but we're almost too loose. Ooh, that wasn't a good sound. For those curious, Rachel's launch angle is five degrees there. Pretty high. Her first throw, she threw 50 miles an hour. I think that's pretty impressive for a lady. That's the creepy thing. I feel like I'm about to launch in her car. <laughs> Rachel's first one went 250 feet. Rachel throws a lot farther than that. There's kind of a little bit of a, uh, it's very strange throwing into a net. Let's see, 51.8. So she's already gained 50 RPMs and about two miles an hour. Where do you see how far it went? You gotta actually click on it and then, that's 291. Rachel, what do you think you can really throw? Like normally like three, you've got like 325 in the bag pretty consistently probably. It's hard to throw it though, feeling like I'm throwing at the car. So I she's gonna take a second. To she's finish. throwing two shots though, so she's not loose. So we'll see. Uh, real field distance, she throws like 325, probably flat. Sorry, our garage is a mess. We just had Halloween and kind of trying to make this work where we could do this inside and practice. Talking about practice, man. All right, third throw. She had a little bit of a regression on everything. I think there's a lot of overcompensating that happens with these, which, you know, so I think if you have limited throws, it's gonna be hard to be even beneficial, but someone like us, if you actually buy one, you could probably, you're gonna have a lot more opportunity to not be stressed about every throw. That form looked good. I wouldn't be surprised if that was about. All right, that was Rachel's, well, speed was good. She lost a little bit of RPMs, but 328, okay. Hey, that's that was, much better. That was yeeted, so that's pretty solid. That's near Rachel's, but I think the big thing, oh, and that was on Heiser too. That's what I don't over. throw on Heiser, so that's all. Nose awesome. angle was down, which is good. Rachel's throwing faster every time, but her RPMs are getting worse. We'll see if, yeah, so five foot shorter than the previous. The goal of this though is we're, we're trying to get a baseline and we're gonna try to use this stuff to improve. So I'm gonna make another video in like a month. Uh, but honestly, yeah, I'm just, this is kind of just a baseline video to see where we're at. Rachel's gonna throw one more and then I'm gonna throw five and we'll see about where I'm at. And it calculates your averages too, which is kind of cool. Speed slightly down to RPM slightly up. Where do you see your RPM? 884. Oh, I see it. Seven was 314. So Rachel, I guess her best was 329. I'm gonna throw a five real quick. We'll see where I'm at and we'll go from there. So this is no chalk. We're just gonna kinda wing it here. Ricochet. All right, very first one is 55.5, 1,000 RPMs. Seven degrees hyzer, which is a lot. Very baseline, 242. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I guess that means that went straight in the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to throw this from the ground and maybe this will be better. You, you're smacking the crap out of it. <laughs> 55.3, 301 feet. Well, you can tell I'm a little fatigued because I can throw quite a bit further than that. So I don't normally throw, 390 is like my most comfortable smash probably. Speed dropped off a little bit, RPMs went up. 348. Not having a target is actually very difficult. I think it'd be better if we weren't in the garage though. Yeah, I think being in the garage is definitely hurting a little bit. I'm going to pretend that this is a 400 foot hole in front of me. It's hard to do. I stared at the house behind there. And I'm just going to try to rip it into the abyss. That felt better. Mm, it wasn't. Nine degrees launch angle. Three eleven. Okay. I think the next thing I'm we doing do. I'm something bad. What, what am I? What's killing my? Your display? hyzer's pretty bad. I gotta start flying. I mean, that would probably help. Okay. Uh, just to see if that. He's still on one flat. That was. That came out of your hand weird. I'm not an either. No, it was Anheuser for sure. 60.9. I haven't seen that happen yet. It isn't calculating. The Speed was great. <laughs> Speed was the highest it has ever been. But. 414. 414. You broke 400. Oh my gosh. See, you just need a little Annie in your life. Is that you think that's all it is? Four fingers and Annie? I mean, I obviously think I, Annie is the way to go. I did throw that really hard. Let me try that again. You think I was a glitch? No. Oh. All right. I've so been saying. Throw flat or Annie? A little Annie. But you don't get on the train like I do where sometimes I overthrow the Annie. Might have been a little exaggerated, but you were on I don't know. That's pretty good. 407. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. I normally don't throw 400 feet, so this is actually... He also I'm, usually gives me crap for how much Annie I throw on. Yeah, but Annie is getting me distance here. Four fingers and the Annie. All right. One final throw for today. I'm, I'm going to try to... One more time. I'm going to let Rachel go do a few more. Because I think we both had to get a little loose. We go Anheuser. Try to rip the piss out of it. I was spanked. Anheuser. 59, 1,056. 391. That's pretty accurate to how I normally throw. But I broke 400. That was, that's solid. I really don't so far. So I'm. Oh. We'll try it on a field too. But the important thing here is, uh, Rachel has decided to start going to the gym with me. So we're doing some disc golf related exercises. I also don't ever work out core. I've never had abs in my life. <laughs> so I don't put a lot of effort in that. But I'm also a very strong person. Last year, I think in the NFL Combine, the most somebody did 225 was 24 reps. This time last year, I could do 225 for 24 reps. So I'm a very strong person, but maybe this will help me realize how to throw far and Rachel making me do core all the time. <laughs> but all right, we're gonna let Rachel throw a few. We'll see how it goes. All right, we're gonna consider those warm ups for Rachel. So we're gonna let her throw a few more. Let's see what happens. All right, Rach, make us proud. Out 
<laughs> that looked like it went pretty far. Rainy, though. All right. 52, 874. That's pretty good. 304. Okay, so that's not your max distance, but it's solid. All right, let's see what you got, Loaf. That looked really good too. Yeah, my order okay. were down. Stats went down a little bit there, but distance 289. That was trash. I think honestly, you may be trying a little too hard. You just need to maybe be smooth with it, maybe. You know that's the truth. In disc golf, sometimes you just gotta throw a little softer to go a little further. All right, this one has potential to be your best or... ever. Disagree. 283. Okay. 11.6. See, I need to get out of here. So you're okay. So, launch angle should be your nose angle should be down. Yeah, it was probably up. And you're throwing, you're throwing in the air, you're not getting a full flight. Being in our garage is not ideal. And I mean, we could put it in the yard, but it's been raining. And eventually, I'm going to clean a garage out and it'll be like something we can do even when it's cold outside. Also, any of you guys that I know locally or gals, uh, I bought this for everyone to use. So, if you want to hit me up, hit me up, and we can work together. I need to have something I can see far away. Being in the garage is really is really affecting Rachel because she actually is the queen of Annie. She throws on Annie literally all the time. And for some reason right now, we're, we're going hyzer, 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 hyzer. I think it's hyzer. because I like to pick out a point really far away to aim at. And the furthest I can see is the driver's seat of the Jeep. <laughs> I'm about to tell her, okay, you just need to pretend you're on hole 10 or something. I can't. And just close your eyes and rip one. Close my eyes. Maybe not fully close your eyes, but you know what I mean. I closed my eyes. Holy shit. That wasn't the move. It didn't hurt it. Oh my. Okay, everything is okay. Um, hindsight is twenty twenty. Do not throw with your eyes closed. Um, I said that was a bad idea. Rachel just completely missed the netting and threw it straight into a cement wall. So, there's that. Can take a beating. <laughs> no dings. I'm not gonna say what I was gonna say. Some of you can infer what I was gonna say. Rachel, what are your first impressions? Don't throw it in the garage. I think that, you know, you could make that work maybe. Uh, but first impressions, I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing because I did yeet one. And if I can figure out how to yeet it over and over and over and over. I think it's pretty accurate. That could be, I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure it's incredibly accurate. Uh, the good news is, like for me, when you're throwing into a net, you stop thinking about anything other than mechanics, I guess. So then not throwing into a net, I was able to use all four fingers again and really just work on throwing it hard and uh, getting my spin up. And then that yielded being able to throw further. And if I can just continually do that, maybe I can get better. Okay, I've just received from friends uh, that the distance part of it is not very accurate. I do not know whether that is true or not. Uh, not very often do I throw over 400, so maybe. However, I, there's a small chance, let me get some light in here. Holy cow. However, there is a small chance that I was actually in that short amount of time able to kind of realize what I needed to do to throw far. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know, Rachel hates when I have this open during videos. Uh, so I don't know. There's that, take that with a grain of salt. Uh, the rest of it you can use for, I guess, truly training, but I will say, the, the throws it took me to get to the 400 level are definitely better throws in real life. I don't know, you know, what the conversion factor might really be distance wise, but either way, I'm cool with it. Pretty neat. Um, so yeah, if you want a chance to win a disc, a giveaway disc every video, uh, comment down below how far you can throw. And then I'm going to randomly pick somebody and we'll give them away.
Something cool. I don't know what though. I've got a bunch of new stuff I gotta get rid of. Uh, I'll pick something later.